Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this updated pre-analysis guide for Aventurin, I'll be talking about his best relic, light cones, team comp, rotations, pros and cons. And if you should pull for him, do note that this is all speculation and subjected to changes. Here are his required materials and skill priority. For an overview on his kit, Aventurin is a 2-in-1 unit from the path of the preservation he has one of the best survivability in the game and does even more follow-up attack with FUA units which gives him a ton of DPS. His tailor-made for follow-up attack units. He would also work for Acheron if you have his signature LC. Other crit DPS units will have little to no benefit from Aventurin. Other than follow-up attack units, it beats the point of pulling for him if you can't put him in the best setup. For his Eidolons, E1 increases crit damage for allies with X effect by X%. percent. The X effect obtained from his trace bonus no longer has a trigger limit. E2 when using basic attack, reduce the target's all type res by X% percent for X turns. E4 when triggering his talent's follow-up attacks, Aventurin's defense first increases by X% percent for X turns. The follow-up attack's hits per action triggered by his talent additionally increases by X. E6. For each ally with shield, the damage dealt by Aventurin increases by X% percent, up to a maximum of X%. Percent. For his best price to performance ratio, it's situational. His E1 is way better than his SIG LC if you're running Topaz and follow-up attack units. For players who are pulling him only for Acheron his SIG LC is a must with his E2 at max. Wouldn't recommend pulling a Venteran without his LC for Acheron as Fushuen would do better. Players should also not forget that a Venteran's best team is with follow-up ATK units. Overall would recommend F2P players to stick with E0 as his sufficient especially when we are getting a free S5 Lycone tailor made for him. How to build a Venturin. For the body, you want defense percent only. For the boots, you want speed only. Sub stat priority. The best build would be speed till 147 at max, as much defense percent as you can get. Crit damage and some crit rate slightly lastly. Do not go for HP percent or effect res as it's a dead stat on him. More defense equals better shielding and DPS. Players should aim for speed and crit sub stats on defense percent main stat pieces. You may run 144 SPD if you are putting Ruan Mei together for the 161 speed breakpoint but 147 speed is safer for any switch up in your team and a veteran has high base speed too. Wouldn't worry about it. Only with Acheron to focus more on his debuffs. Without Ruan Mei may go for a total of 160 or 161 SPD instead and defense percent, do not care about other stats. With Ruan Mei, go for 157 SPD instead but both are still insanely hard to hit where players would need triple S tier sub stats. Recommended to stick with the previous build as it's way harder but it may perform slightly better. Onto his relic set, first place is 2 piece messenger with 2 piece grand duke. Or you can go for the full rainbow set with zero set bonuses, as substat is way more important for a veteran. Second best is Dead Waters where it provides 8% crit rate and provides the highest DPS for a veteran. Which is highly recommended for FUA teams. Third is Knight of Purity Palace with the 4 piece bonus for 20% damage absorbed by the shield created by the wearer. The reason why I'm placing this at last place is that even with the 20% bonus shield effect, it only makes a difference for his skill. His talent bonus shield is too little for it to make a difference. Even though it's his best defensive set it's not worth it. Due to energy efficiency and players pulling for a veteran who are running with FUA teams will benefit way more hugely from a DPS set. Overall players should just slap on DPS sets as a veteran does not need to care about relic set bonus for survivability. As defense percent main stat plus LC would be more than sufficient. And now for the planar ornament. Main stat for the rope and orb you want both of them to run defense percent. As the more defense you have the easier your team survives and you deal more damage. You don't need energy region rope on a veteran at all due to low ulti cost and his main energy source comes from his follow up attack which activates more with FUA units. Hence I don't recommend players to pull a veteran for Acheron or other crit DPS units as his ulti uptime which can apply to buffs will have way lower downtime. A veteran has 3 of planar ornament set which he can use. Best in slot is inert salsado especially with FUA units. Where the 5% crit rate boost actually helps a ton plus the damage boost is really neat. Second best in slot is broken keel or fleet of the ageless as long as you meet their requirements and have double S tier sub stats on them. 
but still preferred to run with Topaz plus a secondary DPS unit to minimize the DPS loss. I wouldn't recommend Architects as it's the worst choice. A veteran can easily hit over 4k defense with 3 defensive main stats with defense light cone and technique. Which is already overkill where 15% defense bonus wouldn't make a difference. Would be way better to focus on providing more DPS to himself or other units. Unless you have this relic set with triple S tier it's a very solid option. Overall players should slap on the one with better substat as they're very equal. But I do recommend Salsado since and those who have FUA units are already farming world 6 like crazy. Now for his light cones, I'll start from the worst to best. At last place, we have both the battle pass LC and day 1 of my new life at S5, nothing much to talk about as there are way better options. At third place, we have Jeopard's light cone. Which is S1 sufficient? Its base defense is way higher and it gives a total of 48% defense if the wearer gets attacked which means more DPS and survivability for a veteran. Though one minor issue is the extra aggro draw may put a veteran at risk of losing health by getting hit more often which results in using more skill points. Still a solid light cone option for a veteran but it's better for Fushuen or other units. Also at third place you may use Topaz light cone as a budget option. If you're running a DOT team or especially with Acheron, where he's able to apply a debuff from a light cone now but I recommend it only if you have sufficient defense at lower superimposition and for the general playstyle this light cone will be at last place. Instead, at second place, we have two light cones. The new F2 PLC from the mirror gives effect res instead of defense which is honestly trash for a veteran. As his kit already gives a ton of effect res and can resist CC from his talent but the main upside is the 48% damage increase where it only falls slightly behind his SIG LC. Only recommended for players who have a total of 4k defense at minimum as it comes with quite a few downsides. The real MVP is the free light cone at S5 that we will be getting. Which increases both defense and DMG for the wearer. Without doubt, it's his second best option even over the LC from the mirror shop as it doesn't come with any drawbacks and it's way easier to build a veteran with the defense bonus. I highly recommend this LC instead as the DPS loss is only by a few percent compared to Destiny. After all a veteran main priority is keeping your team alive. With more defense equals to lesser skill point usage. At first place, it's his signature LC. Increases the wearer's defense by X percent. When the wearer provides a shield to an ally, the wearer's crit damage increases by X percent, lasting for X turns. When the wearer uses a follow-up attack, there is a X percent base chance to increase the DMG taken by the attacked enemy by X percent. Lasting for X turns. Here are his DPS calculations. It's either 13 or 17% DPS over the event S5 light cone overall players should not pull for a veteran light cone but his E1 instead if they have spare pulls as the free LC at S5 from the event is more than enough for a veteran. If you're running him with Acheron you can pull for his SIG LC instead though it may be better to pull for Acheron's LC or E2 instead. And now for his team comp, rotations and how his ability works. The best DPS team is with Topaz plus a secondary FUA unit with Ruan Mei. A veteran is good at 147 speed but with Ruan Mei you can opt for 144 speed instead. This team comp allows him to do more follow-up attacks with follow-up attacks from other units, especially with Topaz they're both going to scale each other up way higher. His weaker team would be with Acheron or other crit DPS units, as E0 a veteran can apply debuff with his ulti which increases a very tiny amount of crit damage dealt for your allies. Which only provides 4% DPS boots whereas Huo Huo ulti provides 8% DPS instead, and a veteran ulti uptime would be lower without FUA units. Also, Fushuen ulti with weakness break is counted as a debuff. For Acheron, a veteran signature LC can also apply way more debuffs compared to Topaz LC. Overall if you're not going to pull for a veteran's LC I do not recommend pulling him for Acheron. Though don't get me wrong he's by far the best sustain with Acheron if he has his SIG LC just not for other crit DPS units. For a veteran's pros and cons, pros. Triple S tier unit with follow up attack units especially Topaz. Won't get outscaled with Topaz or FUA units. F2P friendly, comes with a free best in slot S5 light cone, easy to build, SP positive, decent animations, one of the best survivability units in the game, even his idolins doesn't need more sustain, good for events, pure fiction, drops to S tier without FUA units, even with higher idolins, as the only plus point is his survivability, must have SIG LC to do well for Acheron, 
So should you pull for a Venturin? If you already have two limited 5 star sustains but you are running follow up attack units, especially Topaz? Yes without a single doubt. If you're running Acheron with a Venturin Sig LC? Yes. If you're running other crit DPS units? No, it's pretty bad. If you like his design? Yes. And that's it for this guide.